Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my 8th Python 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be finally showing you guys how to actually create a program in Python. Um, up till now, what we've been using is um, Idle, or Python's interactive shell. And uh, that's really great for showing new, uh, new concepts, but you can't save anything in it. So every time we exit out, everything you did get, basically just gets erased. Um, so that's no good if you're actually wanting to program. So I'm going to show you how to write a program and be able to save it so you can uh, edit it later or execute it um, whenever you want. <clears throat> and uh, so, so to be able to write a program you need um, an editor uh, that is able to edit Python um, code. And but uh, there's a bunch of free ones online but Python actually uh, has a built-in one that comes when you download it so that's one that we're going to be using. So to open that, go up to File, and then oops, File, New Window. And that opens up this window right here. And this is Python's editor. Um, and it's just blank. And um, then all you have to do now is just write your code. So I'm just going to have a simple one. And it's going to be print first oops, code. And um, now, before we run it, you have to save it and you always have to make sure that you save your code before you run it because um, Python won't let you run it unless you save it so go ahead and save or uh, control S and you can save it wherever you want but for right now I'm gonna be just saving it in my Python uh, my Python folder just because uh, I mean I know where it's saved and that's all that matters um, so go ahead and save it as whatever you'd like um, I'm gonna save it as saving tut or saving tutorial and then make sure whatever you save it as always for your python um, programs always put a dot py extension at the end so your computer knows it's python so you can run it as a python program um, so just make sure you include that dot py at the end and then go ahead and save it and now you can run your program there are two different ways to do this you can come up here and hit run and run module or just hit f5 and both of these will run the module in python's interactive shell it'll automatically switch over to Python's uh, interactive shell and then just run it. Okay, so there you go. You can see it did exactly what I told it to. It printed first code. Um, and so that was pretty obvious what it was going to do. Um, now you can also run your code not using Python's interactive shell but uh, just like the Windows command line. And the way to do that is go to where you have your code saved. And I have mine in my Python, uh, Python folder down here at the bottom. That's where mine is. Um, so wherever you have it saved, go ahead and just double click on it. And that'll run it in um, Windows like command line. But you can see, if I do it again, it just pops up and then disappears. And you can see first code pop up for a second. Um, but that's because if I go over to my, my code, what, ha what happens when it does this is it prints first code, looks, sees there's nothing else to do, and then exits. Um, and, and I'll show you um, how to fix that in just a second. But first, I'm going to actually show you a code that could be useful. And what this code is going to do is it's going to ask the user to input their name, and then it's going to kind of give it back to them in like welcoming them. So I'm going to write the first line of code real quick and explain what it is. Or what it does rather okay so what this line is doing is it's using this new function input and what this function does is it allows the user to be able to actually type something in and input uh, input something into the computer and this string right here it's just a prompt it it's kind of it just kind of outputs it on the screen so that the user knows like kind of what to type so then whatever they type in is saved as this variable X so that's why it has like x equals. So this input, whatever they input here, is saved as x. And then next, the next line I'm going to have, it's going to print welcome plus x. OK, so let's save that, Control s and then I'm going to run it. First, I'm going to run it in Python's interactive shell so you can kind of see it uh, just really quick. Alright, so let me input my name, and you can see, 
So what I inputted, this was saved as X and then outputted next to welcome. Now let me run the same code from Windows command line. Alright. As you go, it's ask for my name. And you can see I hit enter. You could briefly see welcome Dominic and then it just disappeared. Um, and that was for the same reason as the last one. It's printing this, looking, seeing there's nothing left, then immediately exiting. To be able to stop that, you're going to want to use another input statement. But this time, you don't have to have anything in it. Because all it's going to do is come down here and stop, because it always stops for an input statement, so the user can input something. It'll stop for this input statement, then once they hit enter, it'll go down, see there's nothing left, and then exit. So, let me open up the same thing again. See, now you can see it stops right here, and this, this is an input statement. And even though there's no prompt, the input statement still works. So, but then when I hit enter, it'll automatically exit. Um, so running for you can still run all your modules in Python's interactive shell. And it's actually easier because um, then you can kind of mess around with a few things if you want to in Python's uh, in idle. And so that's what we're going to be doing. But the command line is what you actually use when you actually like legitimately execute your program. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. So I showed you again how to uh, create a program. It's really easy. And you just do the exact same thing basically as we've been doing in, in idle. Um, but uh, it just executes it line by line. Um, I showed you this input statement real here. It allows the user to input something based on whatever prompt you put in there. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. Then it saves it as a variable. Then you can input that variable later on the screen. And I also showed you how to input, uh, use the input statement, the input function, sorry, as the uh, on the last line of your of your uh, program, so that it doesn't exit out right away until the user hits enter. Um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.